are on the hunt for some giant edible puff balls. I was through here yesterday and picked a few and I was trying to find out there's a few more and I see one right here. That's an edible puff ball. Now, that's when it's in its prime and ready to eat. If we look not too far away here, we'll see some that are past their prime. Now those are trillions and millions of spores. And those are well past eating. And just give it up. Pop out of the ground. <laughs> it's got oh one little my spot gosh. here. That's its root. So you just want to get all the bugs off it, all the leaves. <laughs> So what are you gonna? What can you make with this? Uh, we've made so far. We've diced them uh, with um, butter and garlic. I've uh, put, cooked them in bacon fat, and we put them under uh, a roast, and they were very good. Uh, we also made pizza. We sliced them thin enough, and we you cook them first, and then you put pizza topping on them, and then we put them back in the oven, and they're very good. So nothing, you don't have to cook them in anything special, like any other mushroom? Like any other mushroom, they're just, when you slice them, you'll see that it's, it's a very dense, mm. very dense uh, flesh in it. And flavor? Kind of a nutty flavor. I would say mm. it would be nutty mushroomy. Hi, and welcome to the Green Moxie Cooking Channel. Puffballs are my favorite foraging food of all time. Um, and to cook them, we're going to be using this Swedish Vialog. Now, a Swedish Vialog or a Swedish torch is a really efficient way of cooking on a campfire without using a lot of um, fuel. Now, we've split this in four with an axe, but it's a very small log, so if you had a bigger log, you'd split it in eight. If you had a chainsaw, even better, because you'd chainsaw it down, but not all the way, so you wouldn't have to bind it together with um, wire the way we have this one. And what happens is, I'm just using some birch bark here to make a fire in the top. And as the embers warm up, they'll fall down into the log, igniting the center and allowing us to cook uh, with our pot straight on here. It's really an efficient way of doing things. So we're just gonna start our fire here using a little kindling and this wonderful birch bark. So we're just going to put some kindling in here. We have washed it, but don't soak it in water too much because they are very absorbent. Uh, these puff balls contain about 7 trillion spores. They like to grow in soil that's been recently disrupted by an animal digging. Um, and they just pop up unexpectedly in the woods uh, where you can find them. There isn't many mushrooms that look like them, so they're one of the easiest mushrooms to identify. But please make sure that there are no gills in the mushroom. It should be an even consistency throughout. If there's any yellowing or a purple color, then it may not be safe to eat. So here we, you can see we're just going to peel this outer skin off. It comes off fairly easily and it's quite tough so you really don't want to leave that on. So here you can see it's got no gills and the same consistency all the way through. No yellow or purple twin tinge. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to slice it into steaks about this big. In a skillet on our Swedish Vialog we've got a little bit of butter melting ready for our popcorn mushrooms. So now we uh, dip the mushrooms in some egg and then in some breadcrumbs. I've used panko breadcrumbs but you can use anything you like. And then into the butter. And there you go. Beautiful nutty mushroom fingers. Tastes just like chicken.